Hello everybody, this is Drew and Aller. Previously, we had, uh, let me see, we had gone through most of this menu here. So we had gone through the back to main menu button that just takes you back to the home page of the, the 3DS eShop. We showed the redeem download code page. I didn't show redeeming and download code because I didn't have one to show. I showed the filters on search. I'll go in more detail on search later. Um, wish list. I showed that. I showed rating titles, adding funds, and then I showed old videos that I had recorded oh, last year, edited in. And then I show, and then we're going, today what we're going to be doing is going through settings slash other. At the very top of, at the functions part, oh wait, no, oh, cancel. No, I, we, I did show the functions, redeem download code and scan QR code. I showed that. But under history, yeah, under history, I, I think this is where we left off last time. So there's updates. These are just the page for updates. So Smash 3DS has an update available. Um, we'll go back. I showed that kind of before, but account activity. Now this is where it gets interesting. Oh, and it goes into the top there too. Two. Now this has account activity. Oh, here, July 16th, 2022. Um, July 16th, 2022. Oh, okay, so this is how Switch games apparently show up on, um, yeah, see. Um, at the top it says account activity, and then the date, and then activity type, funds added. It can be other things like balance adjustment, stuff like that. Like, a game, let me go down here. So like, title purchase. Typically if there's a game, it will show up as title purchase, but here it shows balance adjustment. Activity details, there's nothing. Cost $50. Balance zero dollars. But on July 16th, 2022, same day actually, there's actually 48 things in here. Uh, I added an eShop card, and under activity details, it says Nintendo eShop card. And that is just one of these, one of these cards here. And that was $20. It shows up two out of 48. And then on May 9th, 2022, I used a credit card. Activity type, fun, funds added via, and then in parentheses, via credit card. Activity de details, credit card cost $10, balance $30. And then we can view the receipt, but I'm just going to keep going for now. Actually, no, I'm just going to view the receipt here. Then I'm going to cover things up that I don't want shown in the video, obviously. So please read the information on the lower screen. Receipt, Nintendo of America. In Nintendo's address, support.nintendo.com. Transaction date, May 9th, 2022. 7.47.26, 24 hours Pacific Daylight Time. Transaction country, US, and then it goes also onto the top nicely. Purchase item, prepaid, a card. Total, $10. Card type, now I'm going to be covering this up. Even the transaction ID and the serial number. Inquiries. Inquiries, Nintendo of America, Inc. Funds added to your Nintendo eShop account are non-refundable and cannot be redeemed for cash unless required by law. All sales of licenses to downloaded software slash content are final and non-refundable. Back. And then on, also on May 9th, this one was for $20. And this is just going to be the same thing, except $20. Um, and then here we have uh, title purchase, Xenoblade X. For I'm covering up the cost because that could reveal where I am because of taxes. But $60. We'll just say $60. View receipt. Nintendo of America Inc. All the details about it. Transaction date, May 9th, 2022 at... 7.41.35, 24 hours Pacific Daylight Time, uh, Transaction Country U.S., 
product is Interplate X. Payment amount, $60. Tax I'm covering up. Total I'm covering up. Don't worry, I paid the taxes. I Obviously, I paid the appropriate taxes according to where I live. Just, I don't want it showing up. Payment method, prepaid account. Transaction ID, I'm covering that up too. I'm covering up for customer at, and it shows zip code. I'm covering up my zip code, obviously. Serial number, and then inquiries, Nintendo of America, Inc., and then the thing about they're non-refundable and all that stuff. So back. And then we've got credit card, and then for costs, that was going from whatever it was before to the amount that I needed to pay for Xenoblade X, including tax. Um, DuckTales Remastered, because that was for like $3 or something. It was super cheap. I don't remember what it was, but it was like on sale for a really low price. It was like really cheap. Yeah, it was $3.74, so it's like, okay, I'm downloading this. The reviews are pretty good on like Wikipedia overall. For $3.74, I'm just going to download it because apparently it's actually pretty good on the Wii U. And then Nintendo Land, because I never bought that before, and that was like $20. And I had always wanted to play it because I was like, oh, that's so cool. That's actually why I wanted to buy a Wii U in the first place back when it was new. And it's like, oh, that's so cool. I want to buy a Wii U. It looks so fun to play like Mario Chase and stuff like that. I bought it finally. And what was really fun was actually just running around as my me character. I didn't even know that that was something that the game had but it was just really fun just running around as my me character after finishing the tutorial or intro or whatever it's like oh this is this is actually nice having a me character to just run around in a 3d environment as it's amazing i don't think that's ever been a thing before in any other games maybe maybe not i just thought it was super cool and I think the ZR button was jump, which just so happens that that's the same thing as in Xenoblade X. So I thought that was interesting. Maybe Monolith Soft had some influence there in Nintendo Land. I don't know. I mean, X was after Nintendo Land, so maybe they were testing out their controls a little. I'm not sure. Donkey Kong 64 for like, I don't know, hang on. I bought Donkey Kong 64 for um ten dollars because a long time ago at a hotel i tried to play donkey kong 64 you know when they have the where the room where the controller is connected to a tv and then you pay per hour to rent a game from the hotel yeah anyway when i went to a hotel once they had that still i don't remember how old i was but the controller did not center properly. So Donkey Kong kept going off toward the side and it was just horrible. So I decided, oh, I'll, I'll actually buy that. Maybe I'll actually um, play it more this time, more than a small amount, you know? No, no, I, I refuse to do 100% though, because that takes forever and I don't like collectathons that in depth. So anyway, moving on, Wind Waker HD. Currently I'm working on a Wind Waker series, and I figured that this could be, I could have this as like a, in a bonus episode, I could show a few things that were different from GameCube Wind Waker. And that was $20. And then I added money, $100 on May 9th. Oh, May 9th for Wind Waker, May 9th for Donkey Kong, May 9th for Nintendo Land, DuckTales, credit card, and Xenoblade X, another credit card, and another credit card, so on and so forth. Oh, I forgot. Up here, the blank one, I guess that's, I guess that's how it shows up when you buy a Switch game, um, because for $50 here, it shows up. Yeah, I, I think, um, for $50, it shows up here, um, 
Um, let me see. Hang on. July 16th. Huh. I really don't know what's going on there. I mean, that should just be when I pre-ordered uh, the digital version of Xenoblade 3 so that I would have it immediately before my physical copy got there. I got here. I assume that's what it is. I'll put text on the screen if that's not what it is. But this is that's what it should be. And it just doesn't know what a Switch game is. Mario Galaxy 2, because there's something wrong with my with my copy, it I can't even dump it to the computer. You know, with the software that you use that you can download or that you can dump physical games, I it does not work. Uh, I've tried a Windows-based version. I've tried the the one on the Wii. I don't have the ISO, the correct ISO installed though for that, so that didn't work. But anyway, it, it just did not work at all. And I'm worried that if I want to do a series on Galaxy 2, I wouldn't be able to. So I bought it so that I could do that. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. Uh, I a long time ago I played. 13 years ago, I played it on the the Game Boy Advance, and I had a lot of fun with that, but I wanted to buy it on the Wii U to make sure that I had access to it. And this was before it was on the Switch Online, but I still don't trust Switch Online. I want to make sure that I actually have it permanently, at least downloaded, at least have the files downloaded. Uh, without a subscription, Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3, because I've heard that's actually a really good version of it, and it has the e-reader levels. New Super Mario Bros. DS, I really like that version, or I really like that game. I played it on my DSi XL a lot, and if I want to do a series on it someday, I want to have a, a copy that's easy to record. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. In case I wanted to play it someday, I can. I've heard that it's actually pretty good. NES Remix 2. I've been wanting to play that game for a while. NES Remix, same thing. I, I, I thought when they came out, I thought they were both really cool. Uh, Typo Man demo. Now this one, I down, I, um downloaded this on the Wii U. Shows up as per title purchase on the Wii U. Now I did this because the the idea was to show canceling a, de a download of a demo. And then I'll, I'll put that in the Wii U uh, series. So that's how that would show up. Um, Paper Mario 64. I wanted to have an actual copy of it. You know, and then next, uh, just a big next button, and then on this one, it doesn't show anything for activity type, details, cost, or balance. And then previous is just at the top thing, Mario Party DS. I won't be able to play multiplayer with it, but it would be really fun to show single player, a single player campaign. Um, I won't be able to show the download play though, unfortunately, but it's a really fun single player campaign, so that'll be nice if I ever want to do a series on it. You kind of get the idea. And I added more money, $100. Mario vs. Donkey Kong for the Game Boy Advance. I had a lot of fun with this, and I wanted a lot about 12 years ago, on, and I wanted to actually own a, a licensed copy of it so I bought that Mario Kart DS it has a lot of really fun uh, mission mode mission mode levels and if I ever want to do a really short series on that I'll be able to have an easy way to play it and record Mario 64 DS it's a really good um, it's a decent version of it and, you know, maybe I'll want to do a series on it someday. I don't know. Probably not, though. But it's pretty fun. Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. I really enjoy 
the Mario and Luigi series. And maybe if I want, ever want to do a series on it again, I'll, I'll be able to do it. But mainly, I just really like the Mario and Luigi series. I had a credit card, except, except I never actually even played uh, Paper Jam or the remakes because it's like I, I just don't really want to. Paper Jam just seems like not much of a reason to play it, and then the remakes, it's like, I just kind of prefer, like, the original Superstar Saga because it makes sense to me how, it, like, when you switch Mario and Luigi around, and then you do L and R to get different, um, like, high jump, spin jump, stuff like that. It just makes sense to me doing it like that instead of how the remake does it. So it just, it's just simpler. It's weird, but it's simpler to me, uh, the original version. And then, but Bowser's Inside Story 3DS that actually does make a lot more sense. Removing the, uh, needing the microphone thing, I, I, I do not like that. If I ever do a series on that, I would have to do it on the computer because it's not fun trying to breathe in, blow into the microphone for those parts. It's just not good. Um, credit card, credit card. Oh, and then, oh wait. May 6, 2022, credit card for uh, $20. And then on March 14th, 2018, I downloaded Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. I love that game so much, despite its flaws. Like, there's something that, some things that's like, oh, that's a problem. Now that I know that it's a problem, because I played that when I was... And it's, it's a game that means a lot to me. I don't want to go into that here in depth. Maybe someday. And then a credit card for... Oh, credit card for the price of Superstar Saga. And then my Nintendo Picross Twilight Princess on July 19th, 2017. And you can, there's a button for software info and also for view receipt. Uh, I got this from the, oh, I redeemed the code, so it'll show up as code redeemed there. And we can do software info or view receipt. I got this from my Nintendo. Yeah, my Nintendo. Uh, I had enough of the points or whatever. So view receipt, here's how this shows up. Nintendo's address. Transaction date, July 19th, 2017, at 12.37.07, 24 hours Pacific Daylight Time. Transaction country, US, product, My Nintendo Picross, Twilight Princess, and then the redeemed download code, apparently that shows up there. Transaction ID, uh, serial number, I'm blocking those out. Software info. This goes right into here. And then it says My Nintendo Pacross, Twilight Princess, Nintendo 3DS download only, release date March 31st, 2016. Thank you for choosing this My Nintendo reward. And here's a screenshot. And then the title screen shows as My Nintendo Pacross, and then the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess logo, copyright 2016 Nintendo, and copyright 2016 Jupiter. On the bottom screen, there's menu items that say how to play, Picross, Mega Picross, and Micross. On the right side, there's a button for Miiverse. Remember that? I never actually used Miiverse personally, but I heard a lot of people really enjoyed using it. And that's actually how the uh, Blade Reports worked on Xenoblade X, where you could say, hey, I found a cool thing here. And then it would show up on the screen for other players. And it would tell the other players in your group or whatever, I don't remember what it's called. And then it would show up on screen for anyone that had that turned on. And then I think it would tell you where to go for that stuff. So yeah, stuff like that. And then it says press the home button to return to the home menu. Oh, and there's also settings on the right side, right across from my cross. 
the my cross button on the right side and then also mega picross on the right side has the universe button and then there's the press uh, home button to return to the home menu and you can't swipe around on there and my nintendo picross the legend of zelda twilight princess publisher nintendo players one player genre puzzle language is english there's more here and the thing about the sd cards rating information ready for everyone and then ratings, decent number of ratings. What type of person is it suited for? Everyone, what type of game is it? Casual play. Relay genres, puzzle, copyright 2016 Nintendo and copyright 2016 Jupiter. And repair, repair software. This software is currently unavailable. Let's go back. Also there's, oh yeah, the receipt. Oh yeah, I showed that already. And then Netflix. There's actually Netflix for the 3DS. So if you receipt, this one was free. Wait, what does this show up? The title purchase, zero dollars. And then it just... It's f just free. Prepaid account. Huh. And then software info. This software is currently unavailable. Oh, that's interesting. That's how it shows up, I guess. Um, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, 3D. This one's... I talked about this one before. I kind of like it. August 18th, 2015. 18, 37, 43, 24 hours Pacific Daylight Time. kind of wish that they could let you, like, rename. Change the name on your save file because it's kind of weird being referred to as by my name after being used to being called Link at, when I was playing Wind Waker during my Wind Waker series, but oh well. Software info. Oh, there's actually video too. So I'm just gonna open this up really quick. And I'm gonna close it. So you push play to begin playback. And it has this here. You know story that became a legend. Yeah. Stuff like that. That's how videos show up. Experience one of the most critically acclaimed games ever made. Oh, and I, I would imagine that it could be an issue for some people too by not being able to change their name on their file, but for me it's just weird because I'm used to being called Link instead of my actual name. Experience one of the most critically acclaimed games ever made. Completely remastered and stunning glasses-free 3D this game looks really, really good for being a 3DS game. I'm very impressed. See, here's screenshots up here. It looks so good in the actual gameplay. Join Link on an epic journey and see this all-time Zelda classic as the creators intended. Explore Hyrule like never before with a major graphical upgrade, further enhanced by 3D visuals. Intuitive touchscreen, gyro sensor control, Creates an immersive experience for any type of gamer. I think I already... No, I didn't show this. Yeah, co-developed by Grezzo. Copyright 1998 through 2011. Build out time PD. And it says please select a game mode, regular or master quest, which, like, inverts the ca inverts the levels on everything. And so then there's the UI and stuff like that. Looks so good. And then there's um, boss rush, challenge mo challenge mode. And then publisher Nintendo, one player, action adventure, languages English, Spanish, French. Please use parental controls to restrict 3D access to children six and under. It might take longer due to the size of the game. You can do download now or download later. Display 3D visuals and all that. Um, and mostly gamers in intense play, action, adventure, RPG, Nintendo, Zelda, Link, N64, 3D games, copyright 1998 through 2011, Nintendo, code developed by Grezzo. Nintendo is the author, author of the software for the purpose of copyright, or it's reserved. I am not repairing it. I genuinely don't know what that would do. Credit card, $40. 
Mario Luigi Dream Team update. Oh yeah, there was an update for Dream Team that fixed the game breaking bug in one part of it, I can't remember. Uh, and then Dream Team, viewer seat, you know. Yeah, there's the viewer seat thing, software info. Oh, and there's multiple videos here too, and there's a download demo button here. So I'm really glad that I'm showing all this stuff here. So the uh, Dream Team TV bloopers, trailer, sleeping problems video, comedy trailer, teaser trailer, and just a regular trailer. Mario and Luigi embark on the adventure of their dreams in a hilarious action RPG that combines, I wouldn't call it a, an action RPG, I would call it turn-based more. Turn-based action. Closer to what it, I feel like it would, I feel like it would be. Um, that combines the real world with the wild landscapes of Luigi's imagination. In Luigi's dreams, anything is possible. Legions of Luigi's morph into forms like a bouncy tower or a wrecking ball. You can even poke a sleeping Luigi to alter events in his dream world. While on vacation on Pillow Island, the bros discover that Luigi's sleeping mind can open portals to the dream world. Mario and Luigi can team up for supercharged bros attacks. In the dream world, Mario can use Luigi-nary attacks to assemble a horde of Luigi's into attack formations. Adventure with Mario and Luigi to not only rescue Peach, but to help Prince Dreambert free fellow pillow folk from the Bat King and Tasma's petrifying spell. Here's some screenshots. Running around, in the overworld, you know, and the health is showing up in the top right with the jump icons. And then there's um, another area. And then they're in the dream world. Published for Nintendo, one player role playing action. Um, English, Spanish, French. Oh, there's more. Do the size of the game, download later, download now. Displays 3D visuals. Oh, there's a website button there. And then the ratings information E10. It's mostly suited for everyone, mostly for casual play. Huh, alright. Um, related game genres, RPG and action. Related keywords, Nintendo 3D games, Mario, Luigi, and Demo. To create 2013 Nintendo, developed by Alpha Dream, and there's a repair software button. Oh, and we can do related keywords. Oh, and it shows up. Select keyword Nintendo, search for software and videos related to this keyword. Sure. And it shows up here. And all that. Oh yeah, the Silver Falls games on March 9th, 2023. There's actually going to be the final games on the 3DS eShop. $17. It's going to be like two games in one. Nintendo managed to work a miracle and allow those two final games to be released. I'll put a link in the description to the video about that, that the developer made. That was incredible that they actually were like, yeah, we'll just do this. Yeah, there were engine issues. So there's going to be an update in a few weeks to fix that. But yeah, final 3DS eShop exclusives. And add a credit card. Alright, so the next one is Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS. I don't know. Redeem downloadable content. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that's how it would show up. So we can go into here. Their seat was on, the transaction date was May 18th, 2015. Oh yeah, because I have it phys the physical version. At 14, 18, oh wait. Transaction country, US, product, Smash 3DS. Oh yeah, the Mewtwo DLC. Uh, redeem download code, and that's what that showed up. Next one, Flipnote Studio 3D. I grabbed this for one from 2015, let's see, that would have to have been Club Nintendo, I think. Such a long time ago. Does anyone else remember Club Nintendo? February 11th, 2015, Transaction Country US, Pride Flip Note Studio 3D, Download Code, Software Info. Flip Note Studio 3D, oh wait, on the top part, on the top page it says, 
Nintendo 3DS download only release date to be determined. Interesting, it still shows up like that. Or maybe there's an issue, I don't know. Flipnote Studio 3D allows you to create 3D animated flipnotes. Simply create sequential drawings on each page like a flipbook and play the flipnote um, and the wish list because of the update is available apparently. Uh, simply create sequential drawings on each page like a flipbook and play the flipnote to watch them come to life. You can bring anything from simple doodles to animated cartoons to life with the software's there's an extra space there. Software's powerful selection of artistic tools, and there's some screenshots. I'm waiting for the UI to go away. There we go. So it's a thing on the top screen, and then the bottom screen has a UI for like pencil, pencil selected, a really small one. And paintbrush and eraser options. There's pencil and different colors and layer options. Undo and erase, 3D options, microphone, camera, video, I don't know if recording, I'm not really sure. And the bottom says save and quit, and then the bottom left button I assume is the menu because that's what it was on Flipnote Studio on um, DSi. Really cool piece of software. And then here's another one with a bunch of different colors. Showing the colors menu for the paintbrush with the paintbrush. Right now, a dark gray is selected. I mean, the only gray is dark gray. So. But yeah, that's all there. Oh, and there's the erase thing. There's also an erase thing. Oh, there are only two screenshots. Publisher Nintendo, players one player, genre utility, languages English, Spanish, and French. Oh, it's compatible with me characters and Nintendo Network ID. Supports online play, I assume, for uploading your flip notes. Probably, uh, I doubt that it would have used flip note Hitena at this point because I think that kind of shut down before this came out. I think I'm just guessing there. I don't really know for sure. It's like 2012, I think it shut down. But there's actually other services that replace it if you do your DNS settings. You'll let you still connect to it, but to third-party servers. And supports online play, displays 3D visuals, supports local play. Ratings, decent ratings. What type of person is it suited for? Basically 95% everyone. What type of game is it? 88% casual play. Um, yeah, 12% intense play. Ranked Flipnote Studio, professional ranked Flipnote Studio competition. Championships 2023. Flipnote Studio 20. Flipnote Studio 3D ranked championship 2023. Relay genres, utility, communication, relay keywords, application, other, and art. In copyright 2013, Nintendo Flipnote Studio and Nintendo 3DS are trademarks of Nintendo. Repair, repair software. Into the update screen. And then next one. Smash 3DS Special Demo. Oh yes, I remember this. September 12th, 2014. I remember getting sent like five codes for this in my email. Sadly, uh, I didn't have any friends who also had a 3DS. So, at least as far as I know back then. So I couldn't, because I asked on Facebook if anyone else did and no one else did, sadly. So I couldn't give them to every, anyone else. And I didn't have the presence on line that I do now. Even though it's still very small, it's much larger than it was back in 20, September 2014. Transaction Country US. Uh, Super Smash Bros. for 3DS special demo. There's a download code. This was from... No, there was just an email. Just randomly selected Club Nintendo members, I think. Transaction ID, serial number, inquiries, you yeah. know. Software info. I wonder if this will show up. It does! So here's a special demo, no image. Nintendo 3DS download only, release date September 9th, 2014, rated E10+. Plus. Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS special demo. Publisher Nintendo, players 1-4 to four players, genre fighting. 
care our languages, English, Spanish, and French. For more information, you are about to download the free Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS Special Club Nintendo Demo. This demo will let you play as many times as you want. To purchase the full version of the game, please visit the Nintendo eShop after October 3rd, 2014. I actually have a physical version. You can also visit smashbros.com to see a list of available retailers for, retailers for purchasing the package version of the game. This demo features an, un, an unlimited play count. Most 3DS game demos had limited ones where it would tick down every time you opened it. Five playable characters, Mario, Link, Pikachu, Villager, and Mega Man, one stage, battlefield, and the ability to compete in local multiplayer matches with fellow Nintendo 3DS owners who have downloaded the demo to their systems. All codes for this special demo must be redeemed by September 19th, 2014. Compatible features and accessories, me, characters, and Nintendo Network ID. Displays 3D visuals, supports local play. Free information, E10 and all that. Online stuff is made by the SRB. Ratings, there are 5,408 ratings. So that's a good, good indicator of how many 3DS owners downloaded it. 59% for everyone, 69% for intense play, for the reviews, uh, related genres, fighting, repair software, repair, you know. Next one is just next. And then The Legend of Zelda, the NES one, September 8th, 2014. I got this from Club Nintendo as a reward. September 8th, Legend of Zelda received Redeem download code. I think Club Nintendo puts an A at the beginning for their download codes. I'm not sure about like Mewtwo. That might have been like the last thing from Club Nintendo or something. I don't know. I don't remember for sure. I know that the 3DS and Wii U soundtrack was like the last thing if you bought the 3DS and Wii U versions. And I think Mewtwo was actually too now that I think about it. Legend of Zelda, software info. And then this is a virtual console game. Shows up as NES. Legend of Zelda $5. Some screenshots. NES. Release date July 5th. July 5th, 2012. Rated E10. I mean, rated E. Original re And then there's a video there. Original release date August 1987. Experience the original Smash hit adventure on the NES. Trademark. Ganon, the King of Evil, has broken free of the Dark World and has captured Hyrule's beloved Princess Zelda. But before she was caught, Zelda managed to scatter the tri shatter the Triforce of Wisdom and scatter its eight pieces throughout Hyrule. You will begin your adventure by finding a small wooden sword in a dark cave. Then as you grow in stature, experience, and strength, so do your weapons. Help Link collect the captured pieces of the Triforce. Rescue the Princess and Thor- Ganon's evil plans. Here's some screenshots. Now here's a dungeon. Level 3 it shows in the heads up display. We've got, if you're wondering, they have 4 hearts out of 7. Bottom screen says tap the touch screen to go to the virtual console menu. And then a thing that says home button, return to the home menu. And then there's the it's dangerous to go alone, take this cave. Um screenshot with three hearts and then then facing a boss in the first dungeon you know uh, The Legend of Zelda publisher of Nintendo players one player genre adventure language is English for information you might need an SD card model fantasy violence rating information and then ratings 24,390 68% for gamers and 69% for intense play and they reviews action adventure RPG for related genres, related keywords, virtual console, NES, classic games, Zelda, Nintendo, and Link. Copyright 1987 Nintendo repair software button. And then we've got Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. View receipt. July 17th, 2014. I got this from Club Nintendo again. Uh, as a reward that very end like Club Nintendo allowed you to choose like, what game that you wanted and if you had enough points you could get a free game free full price game 
There were a few other rewards. I chose Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, it's pretty good for my reward for 2014. And then there's the product, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, redeem download code. Oh, I just remembered the Nintendo channel on the Wii and watching all the all the trailers and stuff and like the that show. I don't remember what it was called. The show that Kit and Krista did. I remember. It was really fun going through the Nintendo channel. But anyway, and like watching the videos and looking at the details. Redeem download code and transaction ID, serial number. You know, Donkey Kong Country Return City. Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D Surprise, new features, TV spot, and gameplay trailer. $20 now. Nintendo 3DS retail slash download. Rated E release date May 24th, 2013. Screenshots up in here on the top left. Changes. Donkey Kong along with trusted sidekick Diddy Kong makes... Isn't Diddy Kong like his cousin or something? I don't remember for sure. Makes his triumphant debut on the Nintendo 3 Nintendo 3DS system uh, in this barrel blasting, rail riding, ground pounding adventure. The original Donkey Kong Country Returns has been remastered and updated for portable play. Run, jump, climb, and defeat enemies through over 65 plus levels spanning eight worlds on Donkey Kong Island. Unlock an all new ninth world with eight brand new levels. Select the original mode to play the game with the same rules and settings as the Wii version. Or try the new mode that gives you an additional heart, as well as new items to help you on your quest to recover Don Donkey Kong's stolen banana or Here's some screenshots. Top screen has gameplay. Bottom screen has count of bananas, balloons for lives, banana coins, puzzle pieces, and the Kong lighters. How many, which Kong lighters that the player has. And there's another level with both Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. And then there's a boss fight on the third one. Oops. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, publisher Nintendo players, one to two players, so I guess you could do local play. Genre, platformer, languages, English, Spanish, French. Size of the game, download now, download later thing. Displays 3D visuals, supports local play. Oh, that's how it is. All the cartoon violence. Some ratings. 58% everyone, 48% casual play. What type of person is it suited for and what type of game is it? Really genres, platformer, and action. Really keywords, Nintendo, Donkey Kong, 3D games, multiplayer, local play. Copyright 2010 through 2013, Nintendo, back. Okay, photos with Mario. Oh, I was gonna talk about this. So I'm glad that this showed up. May 19th, 2014. Transaction country, US, product photos with Mario, payment amount $0, total $0, prepaid account, transaction ID and serial number, software info. Goes with Mario, Nintendo 3DS download only, release date, oh I see they've corrected it now because it, it says May 28th, 2014. Now, uh, and then there's a video there trailer. Now I'm gonna be putting in a screenshot, a picture I took with my, I think at the time it was my Lumia 822, a picture that I took with my Lumia 822 showing that it was actually released in 1985. Actually I can do you one better, showing the original release date that was displayed on Photos with Mario. Please note that this video was recorded on May 19th, 2014, I think. Let me let me look. Yeah, May 19th, 2014, because that's the file name. It's WP 2014051916 Pro.mp4. So not only did I manage to record a video of the messed up date several days before it was supposed to have been released, but also this video includes a much older version of the eShop. So it's archiving two things at once. So yeah. Also, I thought it said 1985. I was wrong. It was 1981. July 9th, 1981. Here's the video. This is the only way I could do it. Look at the release date. This is a new application called Photos with Mario. Uh, free on the Nintendo eShop. Look at the release date. Um, July 
9th of 1981. I think that's uh, an Easter egg or something. It was... I don't know if that was the release date for Donkey Kong or what it was, but either that or Nintendo just has a problem with their, currently with their um, release date. Which is funny because that's when Super Mario Bros. was released, but that's completely the wrong date for the game. So they, they, they fixed it at some point. So I thought that was very funny when that happened, so I made sure to record it. Uh, how, here's details. Have fun with your favorite Mushroom Kingdom characters. Use this free app, free application to view the AR character card included with the Photos of Mario series of $10 Nintendo eShop cards. Oh. The Photos with Mario card, eShop cards. I don't have... Yeah, I don't have, um... Wait, did I mention how... I think I mentioned how... How I have... This one says, for use on Nintendo systems, and this other one says, for use on Nintendo Switch. I think I mentioned that. Uh, in, like, part one or two. Too bad I can't show that off. Watch as they leap to life on your system's screen. Place different cards in one frame to see characters interact in fun ways. Move characters around to capture unexpected scenes. Save the photos to your SD card and share them with friends. Find the photos with Mario series of $10 Nintendo eShop cards at select retailers. Choose from Mario, Peach, Goomba, Bowser, Koopa Troopa, or Luigi asterisk versions or collect all six. Oh, that applies to all of them, I guess. Learn more at nintendo.com slash photos with Mario. Uh, Bowser, Koopa Troopa, and Luigi cards coming this fall to select retailers. There's some pictures, at least. So there's a Goomba, there's Mario kind of kind of waving at the screen with both hands, like trying to get the player's attention, I guess. And then there's Peach on the right side with her parasol. And then there's the UI at the bottom has L, grab, and R, take photo. So I guess you could grab characters and pick them up or something. I don't know. And in the middle there's a camera thing. I guess that switches it to the front camera. Or the inside camera. I don't know. And then there's photo timer question mark for the uh, I think it's for the buttons here. The X, Y, B, and A buttons. Question mark for X, Y for 10, 10 for Y, 5 for B, and 3 for A. And I think that says return to the home menu. Here's another picture. Uh, Mario sleeping on a bench. And then there's someone else sitting next to him, looking at him. Uh, and it's daylight. And there's like shrubs behind, like five feet away from them in the back, kind of going around. And then the third one has Mario, um, Mario kind of in a cheering pose, Peach in the middle of the screen, and then Goomba on the right side of the screen, uh, sit, uh, standing on the bench, and then there's actually also real people in here, uh, someone on the left, and then someone in the middle, someone on kind of on the right, and then above Mario, two of the people are high-fiving, and someone else is leaning on the Goomba on the right side. I think the people in the middle left part of the image are Kent and Krista. I think that's them. It's too blurry to know for sure. Publisher Nintendo genre AR camera. Languages English, Spanish, and French. Important information. For use with Mario, Peach, Goomba, Bowser, Koopa Troopa, or Luigi cards found in special edition Nintendo eShop cards. You may need an additional compatible SD card or SDHC card with the available space to download the software. Visit supportnintendo.com for important for information about storage options sold separately, compatible features and accessories, displays 3D visuals. Well, there's some pictures up there. I already showed that, I think. I mean, I already think it went through. Down here, ratings. What type of person is this suited for? 82% everyone. 
What type of game is it? 82% casual play. Really genres, other, really keywords, photo, Mario, Luigi, Peach, Goomba, Bowser, camera, application, and AR card. I remember playing with the AR cards a little when I got my 3DS and then I never played with them again. For Nintendo 3DS systems, use parental controls to restrict 3D mode for children 6 and under. Copyright 2013 through 2014 Nintendo. Nintendo properties are trademarks of Nintendo. And then the refer software button. Legend of Zelda Four Swords Anniversary Edition. On January 30th, 2014, I downloaded that. I remember talking about this in a previous part when I was confused about why I got a seemingly duplicate notification. Um, Four Swords Anniversary Edition. It's very fun. I I recommend it if you know anyone that has it, that has a copy of it, and they let you play it. It's very fun. Four Swords Anniversary Edition. Here's the page. Legend of Zelda Four Swords Anniversary Edition. I don't know if I showed this before. DSiWare release date January 30th, 2014. They re released it on the 3DS eShop. But it's DSiWare that they really re released on the 3DS eShop. Everyone 10 plus. When the evil Wind Mage Vati escapes from confinement, Link must draw upon the power of the legendary Four Sword and save the kidnapped Princess Zelda. But there's a catch whoever touches the sword will divide into multiples. Play in one player mode and control two heroes. Or play via DS Wireless Play with up to four friends. Oh yeah, DS Wireless Play. Hopefully DS Download Play count. Hopefully it can work via DS Download Play. So you could do that probably. Hurdle through challenges by using teamwork as you scramble to collect the most rupees. Wait, it doesn't use force gems? That's a little weird. Because four swords usually has force gems, not rupees. Great fairies are always watching your efforts and will reward you your bravery based on how many rupees you collect. All new for this edition, new stages and modes. Upon completing the main quest, re relive memorable moments from the past with levels based on previous Zelda games in the realm of memories. For the bold and daring, test your adventuring skills in the Hero's Trial. Here's some screenshots. So, yeah, and there's a map at the bottom. Sea of Trees 1. Time, current time, I don't know, or how long they've been playing, and the local thing there, and then I guess different stuff. It seems to be four player, yeah, I think. And there's Death Mountain 1 thing there, and then, okay, I'm covering this up if you don't want to see it, but I'll let you, I, if you don't want to see what the Realm of Memories is, if you don't want spoilers, if you wanted to play it from someone else's game, but the realm of me If you want to avoid spoilers, you should skip ahead now to 52.59. But you can jump ahead. I'll show you when, uh, like 10 seconds. Okay, so it's the um, castle, Harold Castle from Link to the Past. There we go, now it's good. And there's all the Four Swords Anniversary Edition, publisher Nintendo, one to four players, action adventure, English, Spanish, French, you might need additional compatible SD card for it. Except not really, because you would the only way that you can play DSiWare is when it's actually on the system. If you, in order to play multiplayer mode, each system oh each system must have Four Swords Anniversary Edition saved on it. Oh that's too bad. So you can't just do DS download play. That would have been way better. This title will be available for a limited time only, January 30th, 2014 through February 2nd, 2014. Compatible features and accessories, supports DS wireless play, room 10 plus, fans of violence, 111,117 ratings. 53% for everyone, and what type of game is it? 57% casual play. So apparently, no, never mind, I got confused. I thought they were the same. Related genres, action, adventure, multiplayer, related keywords, Zelda and Nintendo. Copyright 2002 through 2011 Nintendo. Mario Land 2, six golden coins, on January 21st, 2014. Uh, and then there's the video there. $4, Game Boy, release date, November 1992. Everyone, read everyone. It's 
Super Mario Land 2 6 Golden Coins video. In his greatest Game Boy Adventure, Mario faces off against his evil rival Wario, who has captured Mario Land and turned it into his private playground. To toss Wario off his ill-gotten throne, Mario must search all new worlds for the six golden coins that unlock the gate to Mario's castle. Since when does Mario have a castle? A mob of monsters old and new seek to stop him. Along the way, through six zones, Mario can nab power mushrooms, superstars, and fireflowers for extra power. And if he eats the magic carrot, he'll turn he'll turn into a high flying hair. So here's some pictures of it. Screenshots, I mean. And it has the tap the touch screen to go to the virtual console menu thing on the bottom. And then here's another screenshot underwater. And then here's another one battling Tatanga. In space. That's one of the last bosses, I think. Space Zone. One of the last intended bosses, because you can play this game in any order you want, basically. Except for getting to the last, getting to Mario's Castle. This game has amazing music in, like, one of the Space Zone levels. And I wish that it was in more games, because it's so good. More games other than Sticker Start deserves better than that. Publisher, uh, Super Mario Land 2, 6 Golden Coins, Publisher Nintendo. Players 1 player, genre action platformer, English. Oh, I, I remember playing this on my Lumia 822 because the Microsoft Store, the Windows, Windows Phone Store, had emulators, which was so cool. So I played this on my Lumia 822, and then later I actually bought it on here. It was not very fun playing it on a phone. I got to experience it. Uh, you may need an additional compatible SD card. Rating information E. And reviews. What to, what? Oh, apparently more. There are more reviews for uh, the Four Swords Anniversary Edition than there are for this game, which is interesting. Even though that was only available for four days on the 3DS. What type of person is it suited for? 69% everyone. What type of game is it? 72%. Related genres: action, arcade, platformer. Related keywords: virtual console, Game Boy, classic games, Mario. Nintendo, copyright 1992 Nintendo. Too bad the 3DS didn't have the Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance special filters where it gave you color, kind of. Oh, and not just Game Boy Advance, but also DSi, or, but also the DS and DS Lite. All right, sorry about that. I had to use the bathroom again. I, I drank a lot of water earlier. Actually, I don't, I don't, know for sure if you can play Game Boy, Game Boy or Game Boy Color games on the DS or DS Lite. I know you can play Game Boy Advance games, I just don't know about Game Boy or uh, Game Boy Color. Uh, so that's there. And then I added, I used a credit card, and then I downloaded YouTube for 3DS. It's really not good. Because like, the games may look really good on the 3DS screen, like Mario 3D Land, but videos do not because they're like 360p. So that's just, okay. Software info. This might, no. Error code 010-3021. This software is currently unavailable. All right, last one. Oh, I created my Nintendo Network ID on December 15th, 2013, when they added that feature to it. Activity type, Nintendo Network ID, Nintendo 3DS family. Activity details, cost, balance, nothing. Why does it say view account activity here? Where does this go? Wait, I never got Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I never downloaded that. That's weird. December 4th, 2013. I genuinely do not remember that. Dream Team demo. July, November 26, 2013. Dinosaur, oh. Now, instead of being confused about why Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games and Mario and Luigi Dream Team demo are listed here as being installed, as having been installed on my 3DS, I should be more confused about what reward download means. Dinosaur office? There's Swap Note, November 25th, 2013. Dinosaur Office, November 25th, 2013. 
That's when I got my 3DS. Now why is... Oh, they might have downloaded the Dream Team demo. Maybe I downloaded it. I genuinely do not remember downloading it on November 26, 2013. And I have no idea how Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games is here. Oh, and going back goes to this. Weird. Now in redownloadable software, I'm gonna split this into two parts. Not applicable, not applicable. Huh. I'm gonna split this into two parts because it's almost an hour and a half. That's way too long. I'm gonna have to cut this down a lot. So, um, let me look at my to-do list. It's very detailed. I'll be showing my to-do list in full at the very end because there's so much stuff here and I'm just writing on it front and back. It's really nice actually having a printer now. It's brother, a brother black and white laser printer. It's actually really good. Reminds me of the reliability of my HP Office Jet G55. I miss using that, being able to use it. Let me see, it's part four. Okay, yeah. Next part, I'm going to keep going through this redownloadable software. I'm gonna go through here and just keep going through the rest of the stuff in settings slash other. Okay, so goodbye for now. Okay, so this is kind of a fake out ending, but I did want to mention something I noticed is that Flipnote Studio 3D used codes that start with an A, at least on the Club Nintendo version. I have no idea if it's different on the My Nintendo version. I never purchased it, that, the code for that, so I wouldn't know. Please let me know if it is different. And my Nintendo Percross used the download code that started with B. I have no idea why I was going to... Or no, I, I mentioned that I, I pointed out in this video. I don't remember where it was that I did that. Please don't have me go look for it. This is over an hour long. Okay, so I didn't complete my sentence here, but I think I was going to say I, I pointed out... I wonder what the B means. I wonder what the A means. I don't, I don't know what it was. Actually, I got confused here. I never said I wonder what the A and B means. I just made it up. I mean, I was awake way too late at night working on this. And uh, I guess I just thought of it and never actually said it in the video. I might have thought about it while I was editing. Never mentioned it in the recording. Oopsie. But I am going to have to change something in a future video, in a future episode, because both My Nintendo Picross and Flipnote Studio 3D are 3DS games. Why one uses an A and the other uses a B? I don't know, but that's going to be important later. So for real this time, goodbye for now.